back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. And uh, today uh, we have seen gold uh, dropped as ex we expected it to be. And uh, but what is expected to happen? If you have missed the uh, the price uh, drop in uh, in gold, uh, you can continue watching this. And you can uh, if you want to trade the long term or mid term, you can also actually keep watching uh, for the mid term move. And we have quite a bit of move left here. So we are going to discuss gold and silver. Silver is tra uh, behaving very interestingly. I am going to discuss silver uh, on its own and then we we'll look at gold as well. F let's start with gold. Uh, first of all, I did indicate it that um, on, on the weekend that you are expecting for the price of gold to go draw downward and it is happening. So um, the pattern that we are expecting, first of all, the labeling that we have on gold needs to be changed a bit. Okay, I was expecting it. I didn't say it that time people don't like uh, when you try to label expanded flat it's one of the very very uh, uh, difficult ca calls that you can make on it and when you try to actually say that okay this is uh, possibly extended wave B right over here a lot of people won't agree and if you don't agree that's all right you can in that matter you can consider it as a triple zigzag W X Y X and Z but I'm of a, uh, I'm thinking right now that we have to redo the labeling. We can consider this as an A wave, this whole as a V wave, B wave, and this as a C wave. Uh, and within B, B wave, we can consider it as a five structure, three and five. So we can in individually count five waves right over here from this bottom, and this is a sharper wave. So wave A right over here, wave B right over here, and wave C right over here. Let's see what. Uh, let's redo the labeling and then we can actually come back and see what is expected. So we need to uh, redo the labeling right over here. Let's, let me. So this is five now. This is five wave structure. We can see that our three wave, third wave is extended right now. Uh, I mean, our third wave is complete right over here. So we can say that our third wave ended right over here. In that case, we don't need the smaller wave. We can can simply delete that. This fourth wave, however, is pretty interesting. We need to label this so you can actually understand what's happening. And uh, this is the start of the pattern right over here. We can call it a wave A. We can call this whole as wave B, and we can call this a wave C. Once again, if you don't agree with it, that's all right. You can simply consider it as a triple zigzag, and that will still uh, work for the mm, correction phase as well. How far I'm expecting do, uh, gold to drop further? I think we are expected to go somewhere around uh, 1900. It, it could be possible we can push it back to about 1890, 1895 area. This whole area is very important for the structure. I don't believe that we are going to be bullish today. Uh, I guess we have about $40, $50 price movement left on the bearish side. And that is going to be uh, today's uh, dominant trend. So if you are interested, you can definitely go and create a 15 minute uh, time frame chart and then you can extend um, the parallel uh, lines that we have here. We can definitely use that and we can actually use that for a price target uh, behavior, general guidance behavior. We need to tilt it a bit so it's actually touching both points, uh, this one wave 2 and wave 4 and then we can extend it to the more outer wave here. This one is more outside so that we can actually extend it and then we can expect the prices to do something like this right over here. Okay, this is what we can expect and uh, on today's value. Let's delete that so we can actually have a deal with a clear chart. What happens after this now? To answer this question, I'm first going to go uh, to silver and then um, we'll head on to actually we can we can stay here let's finish this thing and then we can uh, go back to silver as well four minutes four hourly chart and we need to so let's go back to daily chart to see what's happening on a larger time frame we can actually capture the larger move so when the price has come down in this region I'm going to go long and I'm expecting for the price to go upward and create a new uh, a new top somewhere around in the range of 2300 so we have quite a bit of price left don't worry if you have missed the price movement uh, on the bullish side earlier we had a go good pr pullback right over here this is what I'm expecting right over here it's not gonna happen in a straight line uh, look at this behavior that happened it did not happen in a straight line we are going to see our 
uh, corrections on its way definitely but I think as far as this price level is concerned this is going to be golden price level for people who have actually missed the, this particular trend initially and now uh, price went up and uh, we forecasted the pullback and now we are ready to actually trade upward you can put your stop loss right at the back and you can sit back and relax you don't have nothing to do and I'm expecting that this trend is going to last for about a month and a half this particular trend that upward is expected to last about month and a half uh, about 45 days of calendar I would say calendar days yeah. and then we are expected to see price going up for 2300 can it go further up a bit it can definitely can it fall short a bit it can definitely do so uh, for now we are expecting for the price to reach around 2300 dollars per ounce in gold uh, in about a month and a half so pretty interesting scenario uh, for gold in midterm let's have a look at what silver is expected to do and silver is giving more clues uh, I was studying silver and silver is giving more clues as to where it is expected to go let's go back on auto right over here and let me clean this chart here so we can actually uh, see what happening I'm going to do on a 15 uh, hourly chart to show you guys what's happening silver is badly resisting uh, I mean strongly resisting against any bear move bearish move so there is a possibility you can actually see a sharper move today in silver be ready I am not going to trade silver myself but I'm going to be ready to capture the movement since the patterns are so complicated at this level we cannot label it we can only say that a pullback is expected right over here so I'm gonna wait for the pullback to complete and then we can label it with a higher confidence as far as the uh, price movement is concerned I'm going to be bullish uh, probably later in the evening on silver and my price target for silver for next month and a half uh, is is very good okay you, you'll be surprised I'm expecting for silver to go upward of right over here so we have seen a previous pattern that was actually pointed out by one of my uh, viewers actually thank you so much I have discussed this earlier that we have seen from the top we have seen low and lower top low uh, sorry uh, low and lower high and then lower low and a lower high and even uh, lower low so what's gonna happen I silver has ability look at this price structure silver has this property that it when it it goes through it actually um, does so in a very astonishing way look at that pattern right over here a similar kind of pattern that we over here and look what silver did to it within a matter of a very small period of time so I think a similar behavior is expected here uh, and we can we can see this uh, uh, being proven by the market as well the while gold has fallen quite a bit uh, about 60 70 dollar from the top uh, silver has hardly moved from this top its recent top so that's why I'm expecting that we are going to see uh, the continuation of the trend that actually started from over here and we are going to see sharper move upside and the potential target that we have is right now around 30 to 32 dollars I would say and that's significant significant uh, price move in terms of gold, silver so right now it's trading around 22 something uh, 22 30 20, 38 22 40 ish area so 10 dollar move uh, in, in silver is expected in next month and a half definitely we are still in the bullish uh, swing that we have uh, seen from the bottom and it that bullish bullish swing has not ended in fact you are if you are expecting something like that to happen I don't think we are gonna see that uh, we are strongly bullish that's what at least my analysis is telling me uh, wish you good life keep your trading have a good one and bye bye